Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today I'm going to show you how I do a rack of lamb out on the grill. I'm going to take some fresh herbs and kind of create a rub paste to get all over the outside of this lamb. We're going to get it over some high heat and really sear that outside to get us some color. Then we're going to back those tips down and finish that lamb off to a medium rare temperature. That's about as far as you want to take lamb. It's going to be fresh tasting and it's going to be delicious. So let's get started. So what I had today is a couple racks of lamb where the bones have already been Frenched. Now these weigh about a pound and a half each and that's about typical. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is get some salt, get some pepper on them. And I, I mean, this is a perfect application for my all purpose rub. It's got that salt, pepper and garlic already in it. So I just want to get a good dose of this on the lamb, front and back, all sides, edges. You can use any type of seasoning you want here. But really it just needs to be salt and pepper. That's the main flavors you're shooting for. Because next, I've made up kind of a rub paste um, that we're gonna put on the outside. And that's kind of gonna be our main flavor seasoning. And this is using some fresh herbs. I've got some um, fresh flat leaf parsley, some rosemary, some thyme, a couple shallots and some garlic cloves. I put them in a food processor, got it all chopping real good. And I added a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and then I slowly drizzled in about a, about a quarter cup of olive oil. I just wanted to get it to where it's kind of a paste consistency. So just add the olive oil as needed. But you want it to look about the consistency of this wet rub here. Now we're gonna get it on the outside of the lamb. So I just use a brush, use whatever you want to spread it on. I'm gonna put it on all sides. So we're gonna let this wet rub kind of sit on this lamb for at least an hour. It's kind of gonna marinate it a little bit, but the fresh flavors in these herbs and in the, with the garlic and the shallots gonna really brown up on the outside of the lamb, kind of make the crust, and it's gonna taste delicious when we get it grilled. Looking good on this side, let's flip it over. Same thing on this side. I'm just gonna smear it on, spread it out. So we've got the wet herb rub all on the outside of the lamb and I'm going to let it hang out for an hour today while I go outside bring my big green egg up to temperature. It's okay to go as long as four to six hours, it's going to develop more flavor. Just throw it in the refrigerator and bring it out about an hour before you're going to start cooking because you want it to come up to room temperature so the lamb will cook even out on the grill. Go outside and get the grill fired up, we'll see you in just a minute. All right, so I'm gonna be cooking this lamb today on my big green egg, and I've got it running at about 450 degrees right now without the deflector shield in it. Now, if you're cooking on another grill at home, um, it's perfectly fine. You're just gonna need a hot zone and a cooler zone because what we're wanting to do is sear the lamb first on each side for about three or four minutes. Then I'm gonna take it off, put my deflector shield in real quick, drop the temps down to about 375, and finish the lamb for the rest of the cook. So we're gonna go ahead and get it on right now, three or four minutes on each side. Then we're gonna take it off just for a quick second to get the deflector shield in place. I got just a pretty good sized chunk of cherry wood in there, something mild and sweet. Give us a little bit of smoke. I'm gonna get the lid closed and get a timer going for four minutes. I wanna get some color on both sides of this lamb. All right, it's been four minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this lamb flipped over. Get some color on this side as well. I'm gonna set our timer for another four minutes. All right, it's been four minutes on this side. About that, I'm gonna get a platter, get these off, and swap out my grates real fast. So I've got the heat checked down now on the big green egg. It's sitting about 375, and that's where I want it to finish this cook. And I did that by putting that heat diverter in. Just took these racks of lamb off for a few minutes now to make it kind of look cool i stand them up at this point just kind of lock the bones in and if you wanted to protect the bones with a little aluminum foil you could but i kind of like the the look that they have now and they're not going to cook a whole lot darker than that because they're up away from most of the heat uh, one thing i do want to do at this point is get a thermometer in and i'm using my chef alarm again i've got it set about 128 degrees and i'm just going to go right in that side of the lamb right there and I'm just gonna watch that internal temp when it goes off they're gonna be ready so all we have to do now is close the lid let them cook and watch our internals <whistles> chef alarms going off it's telling me it's 128 degrees internal 
So it's time to get this lamb off the grill. That cook time was about 30 minutes is all it took here. I'm just gonna pick them up, set them on the platter. We're gonna take them inside. I mean, I just love the way that looks right there. It looks awesome. Take them inside, let this lamb hang out for about 10 minutes on the cutting board before we give it a try. I know it's gonna be good. Let's go back inside. Okay, so we've had the lamb inside. I just let it hang out here on the cutting board for about 10 minutes. That's all it needs to rest, but you wanna let it rest. It's always important so we don't lose all the juice that's inside it from cutting into it right away. I wanna go ahead and cut some of this lamb and see what it looks like inside. So I'm just gonna go right down the rack. Let's cut a couple, I'm gonna cut a double cut. Cause I want a nice juicy thick chop. Ooh, look at that dude. There we go. Man, these chops look awesome. That's what I wanted to see. And for me, you know, that's how I want them served. You can cut them into individual pieces if you want, but that double cut, lamb chop, cooked like a medium rare, that's what I'm talking about. So before I try these, and you know I'm dying to, let's talk a little bit about what we did. This was really easy, man. I just picked up a couple racks of lamb at Costco, brought them home, got them out of the packages, seasoned them with salt and pepper and garlic, that AP rub at the very beginning, and then I made up this uh, kind of a wet rub with those fresh herbs, that rosemary, thyme, uh, had some flat leaf parsley in there. Also some fresh garlic, some shallot, Dijon mustard, and then we smoothed it all out with a little bit of olive oil. And that was our wet rub that we put all over the outside. We seared them on a high heat, out on the egg first. It was like 450 degrees, and we went about four minutes on each side to kind of start that crust forming. Then we back the temp down to about 375 and finished it out. And the important thing is that internal temperature. That's where that chef alarm comes in critical. I mean, I set the temp for 128 degrees because I knew I wanted it right at that in between rare and mid rare. And that's just perfect for me for lamb. It still has a lot of moisture. You know, it's still got a real good pink color and it, you know, it's cooked perfectly. And that's what it's all about. So now, you know, I got to get in there and get me a piece. I got to get a fork and a knife. So I'm going to get into this one right here. Oh man, I want to make sure I get a little bit of that flavor on the outside as well. Good rare bite. Mm, that's good, man. Lamb has a great flavor. It's a little sweet. All those herbs come through, salt and the pepper and the garlic. Hey, if you're a fan of lamb, you've got to give this recipe a try. Not only does it taste good, the presentation of it looks cool on your, your Easter table or whatever you're cooking it for, it's gonna really impress your guests. And I promise you, you'll love the flavor that these herbs give the outside of the meat. So thanks for checking out our video today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can always find us on Facebook and Twitter too. We love the, the comments and we try to answer all of them. We'll see you next time.